Greetings, my friends. Today we will be talking about from four chapter five, mitosis and meiosis. Let's get right into it. <laughs> that was shocks and theory. Okay, cool. So today, uh, we'll talk about mitosis and meiosis only, yeah, which is your form function of the five point one. But by the way, uh, the materials are available for you to download and print it yourself uh, in the description box below. So please help yourself, and you may pause the video and go do it now. And we will starting in three, two. One. Welcome back, my friends from printing. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about mitosis first. Uh. So this is a type of cell division. So in this chapter, right, there's two types of cell division. Okay, that means there's two types of ways um, your cells separate themselves or split up or make more cells. Uh, so hence we have mitosis and we have meiosis. So we'll start out with mitosis first. Okay. So mitosis function, right, is a way of your cells separating, them, uh, separating themselves, okay, uh, where it is for growth, okay, from the moment you, you were a zygote until you were born and until today, your body uh, is growing um, thanks to mitosis. It's a way that your cells split into more cells, okay, uh, or in Mandarin, 细胞分裂,这就是你的身体制造更多细胞的一个方法 to成长第一件事情 第二件事, number two, everybody Replace damage uh, or dead cells when we are injured So other than making more cells or new cells It can also uh, use as a, a, a repair method, okay? Or replace uh, dead cells, okay? So the third one will be asexual reproduction such as uh, binary fusion This one you learn in form 1, uh, form 1 chapter 4 Asexual, there's uh, several types That means there's no parent cell required Only with one cell and it becomes more cells Okay, but that's not applying to human That's applying to microorganisms Like amoeba, paramecium and so on Okay, alright So mitosis stages So mitosis, meiosis, most important thing is You must remember the stages uh, okay? So that's a way for you to remember them But first of all, let's get to know their names First one will be prophase Second one, metaphase Third one, anaphase Fourth, telophase And the fifth and sixth That's to show you what happens at the end So basically we have only four phases In our syllabus Okay, So that's a way to remember it Either you can go for the first alphabet Which is P, M, a T. Okay? Can P met. Or you can call it as please uh make a turkey la or pass me a turkey la. It's up to you, up to you. So I, I actually I prefer P mat because it's easier. P M A T P mat. Okay? So each face has their own picture that you must remember Try your best to recognize the picture Actually not very difficult, they are very distinctive 很大分别的其实每一个图片很多时候你看到你就觉得全部都一样的啦 they are very different Okay, so let's start off with the pro phase So pro phase means the first one, okay, the first stage Where all the chromosomes are getting together, you know, gathering, gathering, ready to split up so the keywords that you have to remember is chromosomes shorten, thicken, become visible. Okay. Uh, originally chromosomes are like thread, like strings. They are very tangled up. They're very messed up. Ah, it's 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 very messed up. Okay, each chromosome consists of two chromatids joined at the centromere. So chromatids are the leg, by the way. Okay, and centromere is like the belt at the center where it ties them up. Okay, so uh, next thing is spinal fiber form. Spinal fiber is like the lines here. That's for them. That's like a line to guide them where to go later on. Okay, not super important. And nuclear membrane and nucleolus disintegrate. So 
Nucleus is this, by the way, we are in the nucleus of a cell. We're not looking at a whole cell. If we're looking at a whole cell, it would be probably this big, and this is the nucleus. We're just looking at the nucleus itself. So the nucleus is this, the nucleus, and the nucleus membrane disappear, ready for split up. So what is most important here is actually the first part. I mean, the one that I highlight with you, okay? All good, next one. Metaphase. So metaphase, uh, a way to remember that is also um, middle, right? M-I-D-D-L-E, middle. Oh, it's in the middle of oh, metaphase. Everyone is lined up at the center uh, of equatorial plane. So chromosomes are arranged uh, in equatorial plane. Equatorial plane means at the center, long, 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 center, long, center. So middle, they are arranging in the middle, okay? All good? All right, next one. Anna face. So Anna, right, looks like that, you know, to me, it feels like there is two A, which is one going to the left, one going to the right, you know, N is like the center. So Anna is like separating left and right. That, that's how I remember lah, huh? Anna face uh, to separate into left and right. Okay? So, yeah, so, um, that's uh, the way you should remember, maybe. Okay, so centrum, uh, centromere split into two. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's get into this one. Uh, sister chromatids separate and move towards the opposite pole. I, I guess that's better. Yeah, okay. So move to opposite pole. That's how I remember. Lah, they go to the opposite side of uh, the cells. I mean, the nucleus. Okay, ah, so Anna separate. Next one, Telo. Telo is the last stage where uh, it, it uh, appears to into two cells okay separating so chromatid reach opposite pole nuclear membrane and nucleus uh, form again uh, everything get back to usual then let's skip to the last step instead yeah two daughter cells are formed number one that's uh, the how you differentiate uh, you must remember the criteria number one two daughter cells are formed if it's a mitosis number two same number of chromosomes and genetic information as the parent cell it's a copy paste that means the first cell and the last two is the same. It's a copy paste. This is how your body grow and how your cells replace dead cells and, and the other cells. Yeah. Okay. So I would say I would say number six very important. That's how you differentiate mitosis from meiosis. So mitosis, one parent, two daughter. Uh, the number of chromosomes in daughter cells will be the same as parent cells. So in this case, if we're talking about human, each of them will be 46 chromosome. 46 chromosome, that will be the same as the parent cell as 46 chromosomes. So each human cell nucleus has 46 chromosomes. Okay, cool. So that's about it. Uh, try our best to remember the steps again. So which is p mat, okay, prophase, metaphase, and R phase. Those that I highlight with you, those are the keywords that you need to use in your answers, maybe. So let's get right into some exercise to try out. We'll come back for me, your sis later on. Okay, is everyone all right? Let's look at question one. Just a few pages afterwards, okay? Yeah, like, I, I think we need to arrange the sequence. Uh, first of all, this is mitosis, already given, free answer. You will have to arrange them in a uh, sequence, okay? So can you try? Maybe you can pause the video and try and write down the answers, um, then play back. Okay, so the correct sequence will be starting from Q, that will be the first step. Okay, and then followed by um, P, P prophase, pro, M, M middle, M middle, in the middle, okay, so that will be R, okay. Uh, P mat A, A will be N, N will be separating left and right, so any left and right, yes. Okay, to, your, to, to you, S now is up and down, but uh, it, could, it means it could be left and right as well, okay? This is a different drawing, so then we end at P. All right, cool. Next one, B, name the face. Well, you still have to repeat a few times. Keep telling yourself the names, keep reading it. 重复性的去 记那个名字其实没有很难的四个吧你就一直重复去记好吗所以就是我们的 pro face meta face and a face tele face 你再重复多两次你就做偶了因为是同一个东西手自己写好吗 have your own answers for b all right 
and we'll move on to C. Describe the behavior in phase R and S. So phase R, sorry, phase R will be the meta, uh, meta phase and uh, S will be the end of phase. So asking for what happened inside. So, well, easily we could re refer to your notes again. So what happened in meta? I think most importantly, you must have the first point. What happened in Anna? Most importantly, you must mention uh, separate into opposite pole, something like that. Okay, so hence I copy exactly from what I have in my notes. So there you go. Chrom chromosomes arrange themselves in equatorial plane. That's the most important point we can have. Okay, and then um, property separate and move to uh, the opposite pole. That's for S. Lah. Okay, no problem. Right. Um, D, where does mitosis occur? So mitosis happens uh, basically everywhere in your body, like uh, from your head to your toe. Every part requires uh, mitosis to grow, to produce more cells and to replace cells. So how do we say like every part in your body? That's called somatic cell. Somatic means every kind of cells in your body, except for the sex cells, except for gametes, uh, except for sperm and ovum. So somatic means every part of your body okay every type of cells right okay cool next one e stick to importance of mitosis uh in organisms okay so like i mentioned earlier on we have the same um function in the notes right for growth and to replace damaged cells produce new cells that are new cells means the two new daughter cells that are identical means same okay to the parent in asexual reproduction so is asexual or no matter for us cell division it's also identical your skin you know when you repair your skin it's identical to the original parent cell for asexual in microorganisms also uh, identical uh, so hence it's just another um another way of saying okay all good all right cool uh i, I guess that's about mitosis i, I hope that's uh, not too difficult for you okay we'll get into meiosis everybody okay right meiosis a uh, it has only one importance okay which is to produce uh gametes okay to produce gametes all right so what does that mean gametes means sex cells or we should say sperm and ovum okay sperm and ovum that's it yeah only that that means uh, meiosis only happens at you know there <laughs> okay in your reproductive organs okay uh, no other way else in your body will undergo meiosis only happens at reproductive system okay so the 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 aim or the function of meiosis is to produce gametes for you all right uh, meiosis has two stages here but it's the same thing it's still pmat but uh splitting into pmat1 and splitting into pmat2 okay so i would assume you remember the same thing so prophase metaphase anaphase telophase will be pmat1 okay pmat1 and then we repeat again pmat2 Okay, all good. Right, so uh, something different here for meiosis. The first uh, stage, which is the prophase, uh, similarly to meiosis, uh, sorry, similarly to mitosis, right, is to shorten, thicken, you know, become visible, to the same thing. But there's one more extra event that happened, which is called crossing over. So in meiosis, uh, the first stage was something little bit a bit, which is called the crossing over. Crossing over looks like that means you know the blue and white as you can see in your screen they are like as changing a little bit like i give you a little bit of me you give me a little bit of you law we exchange present this is super important you know why because this exchange of part of me and part of you is actually exchanging their genetic information that makes a reshuffle um idea of uh, gametes in sperm which means 
before even you produce your sperm in your body, before even you produce your ovum in your body right now, this process has already reshuffled the genetics for you so that your sperm will not look exactly like you, your ovum will not have the same characteristics exactly like you. So it's a reshuffle. Very important. Or else, all your siblings, are your parents give birth to you and you know your siblings, you guys will look the same. And you have the exactly same characteristic because all the time sperm and ovum is, is the same. No, but every time all sperms are different in their sequence of genetics. This is a super important event that happens in me or sis that you have to die, die, remember. Okay? Alright, metaphase as usual, law, arrange law, in the center, law, nothing much. Spinal fiber form, yeah. Anna phase, again, Anna is to separate left and right. Okay, Anna, A and A, separate A and then A on the left and right. Chromosomes, separate and move towards the opposite pole, as usual. Telo, this is in phase one, so for Telo, it's just forming uh, new cytoplasms uh, and then uh, meiosis one will end. Okay, right, phase two. Meiosis 2. Prophase, uh, no more, no more shortened, clearly visible things like that. It's just forming the new spinal fiber, the, 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 the new lines for them to separate, okay, later on, which forms like that. These are the spinal fiber. Metaphase, same, same. Meta stands for middle also. M for middle, that's to separate left and right, okay. So chromosomes are arranged in equatorial plane ready to separate left and right. Arrange an equatorial plane, ready to separate left and right for anaphase. Okay, so anaphase, obviously, separate into left and right. So sister chromatids separate and move towards the opposite pole of the cell, as usual, okay? And uh, telo, finally, the last stage. So this is how you distinguish mitosis and meiosis, by the way. This is four daughter cells non-identical daughter cells okay that means not the same all four daughter cells are different they have half number of chromosomes of the parent cell that means if we're talking about in the case of human originally uh, you will have 46 chromosomes uh, for a parent cell that means in your testes or in your ovary right now there's a lot of parent cell like a factory cell that are specialized in making sperm training soldiers <laughs> and making princess for ovum those are the parent cell in your testes and in your ovary right now when they produce sperm every time they will produce four sperm four sperm for example okay there you go and each of the sperm will have 23 that means half of the parent cell so originally it was 46 as the factory cell that trains sperm or produce sperm but the sperm that is produced will have half of you and imagine this half of you combined with half of your future partner your girlfriend your boyfriend uh your wife husband uh it becomes uh it becomes 46 you understand that becomes a human again that becomes a baby again that's how you were born your parents were half from daddy and then half from mommy then it becomes you as 46 so that's the meaning of this half of the original parents are okay so same goes to female like if you're wondering ovary inside has this parent cell factory who produce who groom princesses each of the time actually you produce a lot of ovums a lot for 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 but you know at the end uh, there's only one that can survive uh, to become a mature ovum ready to be released into the fallopian tube and waiting for the prince to come and fertilize okay which is the sperm yeah half remember super important and then four that's how you distinguish uh, mitosis is one parent cell to two daughter cells two daughter cells with the same number of chromosome as parent cell it's a copy paste okay yep cool last thing for you to differentiate is please look out the difference of phase prophase one prophase two metaphase one metaphase two and phase one one and two slightly different ones so always our uh, one is more there's you know there's four together one two three four okay and then it's it's more uh, 
more chromatids and when it goes to two uh, it's always lesser uh, become two already law uh, become two already law become two already law so uh, quite quite important also for you to recognize which is phase one which is phase two because it can be confusing when uh you have a lot of phases yeah cool right uh i think we can do a summary for mitosis and meiosis okay no matter mitosis or meiosis both are a type of cell division okay no matter to repair your cells or no matter to produce uh, sperm or ovum it's a cell type of cell division okay uh, dna replication occur means uh, copy paste of dna uh, making new dna yeah replication occurs in cell division uh, so the main difference here so, uh, mitosis happens in somatic cell like i mentioned all types of cells are what we call somatic cells okay except for sex cells or except for sperm and ovum yeah so hence meiosis happens in reproductive organ only which is testis and ovary to produce sperm and ovum okay and the next one site means uh, uh for plants uh, site means where in plants it happens so this one a bit from your form one one uh. uh growth happens at the tip of the root and the shoot of the plant uh for meiosis happens at the enter and the ovary which is the sexual uh, reproductive organs for male flower and female flower so enter is from the male by the way ovary is from the female okay so yeah flower has male the uncle flower and the auntie flower and then they will be fertilized um, i mean they will be carried pollen by um, their pollens will be carried by bees okay all right so next also very important differences two daughter cells are formed four daughter cells are formed must remember it is very important for you to differentiate um mitosis and meiosis okay crossing over does not occur yeah yeah i don't want crossing over because i want copy paste of my skin when i recover when i grow i want my own characteristics i don't want a, a new shuffle characteristics yeah so these will be uh, daughter cells uh, not genetically genetically not identical to their parents because of the crossing over that happens your sperm and your ovum is different from you now even before you had sex even before uh you want to have children with your future partner right now your body the this uh the sperm and ovum is already different from you okay already different from the parent cell in your testis and ovary okay for um Ident uh, for the uh, mitosis will be identical genetically identical to parents because there's no crossing over all right so hence no variation no no new things no differences they're all the same copy paste copy paste and this is variation very important that's what makes you and your brother and sisters uh, different because every time we have variation uh, due to the crossing over of uh, chromosomes okay uh, variation means differences uh, by the way differences all right and last one number of chromosome uh, this will be the same this will be the half number okay um, 46 46 for mitosis uh, and then 46 to become 23 for meiosis each cell uh, don't don't calculate all together if 23 plus 23 is 23 plus 23 that's not 46 anymore don't don't do that kind of calculation right doesn't matter it's just going to be half for each daughter cells all right cool that's the conclusion between mitosis and meiosis super important because you must be able to differentiate them okay let's get into meiosis right question number two everybody please write down all the phases <laughs> do you remember them Actually, it's the same uh, PMAT, uh, then PMAT1 and PMAT2. Uh. Can I leave that to you? Please write the whole thing. Prophase 1, Roman 1, then Roman 1, Roman 1, Roman 1, then the rest will be Roman 2, Roman 2, Roman 2. Repeat prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Okay, I'll leave that to you. Right, next one. Name the phase above. Okay, first of all, check if your question tells you mitosis or meiosis. There you go. But my god there's so many steps so many phases which one ah but i feel like this is going to the left and right right it has to be anna phase i think but which one anna one or anna two mm -hmm. i i think there is 
four licks here more right it's not half yet so i i think this must be the the first one does that make sense to you so this will be your anna phase one okay anna phase one there you go all right describe what happened above so again now you're oh anna anna a n a oh separate oh keyword separate separate or move towards the opposite pole okay so similarly lah, huh? there you go can can i mean if you want you can copy exactly from what we have in the notes huh? next one what's the importance of me your sis like for what your sis for what very important for you to produce gametes sperm and ovum that's all that's all that's all that's all the function for mitosis sorry that's all the function for me or sis that's it that's all okay right next one again asking you to recognize the face so if you can see i i think they are exchanging like look at look at the blue and the white they are like hey hey hey, hey i give you a little bit of mine can you give me a little bit of yours so right this is exchanging so i guess this must be the first phase which is called the pro phase one at this phase explain the behavior two marks uh first thing talk about the usual one shorten fatten taken clearly visible right and second thing talk about crossing over very important make sure you have the keywords so two things shorten taken become clearly visible second thing uh crossing over you know, regardless how you form your sentences, but that's what you need to have. Okay. All right. Next one. Name the process that occurs in this phase and explain the importance, the process that, that took place and then the explain the impact. Okay. If that does not uh, take place. Okay. So the process is crossing over. One mark. Crossing over. You answer the first question. Right. Second, a little bit different. What's the impact or what's the effect if this process did not happen? Well, that means uh, you and your jete uh, will look the same. You and your meme, uh, you and your koko, you and your titi, uh, everyone the same. And then all siblings look the same. So we don't really want that to happen. We call that what? No variation, uh, no differences. Uh. No variation. Okay, so crossing over produce new genetic combination. If crossing over does not happen, no variation. Well, uh, the main point is no variation crossing over. Okay, all good. Last one. State animal. Okay, I think something missing here. So, uh, state animal cells, I, I guess. Yeah, can you add that on? that carry out the process in diagram uh, and figure above well meiosis figure above definitely only one type of cell that undergo this process which is called the reproductive cells okay cool um yeah i think that's the correction okay number three i think i will leave this to you the differences between mito and meio you may refer to this one you try try a bit actually answers are here lah but I suggest that you read that one time, you try and write everything by yourself and check on the answer in the notes above. All right, cool. I think we're pretty much done for this part, right? I hope this video helped. Uh, if you like uh, the video, please help to share to your friends. Maybe consider to subscribe to the channel. I think I, We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.